joining me. Let me just show you a couple of different stitches that are kind of fun. I'll see how many different ones I can get through. So first thing I'm gonna do is start with a foundation chain. How about seven, how about eight stitches? This is a three and a half millimeter hook. So if I've got eight in my chain, I need one for turning. So then one, oops, one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight. Now, why am I counting? Because I don't want to lose any stitches. So this was my last stitch right here. So I'm going to turn again. This time I'm going to do a half double crochet. So I'm going to do one stitch and then I'm going to turn it. And I'm still going to insert my hook in this one here. So I grabbed the yarn, let me show you that. I wrapped my needle, or my hook under the yarn, and I put it under both loops. Grab the yarn again, and pull it through all three of these. That is a half double crochet. You're gonna see that as HDC. So let's just do eight half double crochet. hope you all can see this. I'm going through both loops on the top. So this is your half double crochet all the way across. Oh, and I forgot to count for you. So we need to count and make sure we have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we did all of our stitches. We're gonna do a single crochet stitch and this is where we're going to insert our hook for the next row. So for this next row, why don't we do a single crochet back loop only? So it would be written as S-C-B-L-O. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's single crochet back loop only. Let's do a chain for turning. Actually, let's do two chains. Let's do a half double crochet back loop only. So that would be HDC BLL. So I've got my chains for turning. So what I've done is my regular half double crochet like we showed earlier. But instead of going through both top loops of the previous chain, I'm going through only the back loop. See this here? Just this back one. Pulling the yarn up and going all the way through. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now I know I've gotten all of my stitches. So let me do two for turning. Let me show you how to put some windows into this. Um, let's do a half double crochet into the first one. And then let's make an opening. So we'll do one chain or one stitch and then do another half double crochet. Remember, we've already got a chain for this, so we'll go right here. So we've done three stitches, and we have three stitches here. So we can do another opening, 
if we'd like. So if we do another opening, we have to skip that stitch and go here. Let's do another opening, another single crochet stitch, skip this one and go here. Since this is an even number, I'm gonna go ahead and do a half double crochet. So that's how you can do openings very easily. I know a lot of times patterns will have where you run the ribbons through. Now, of course, you don't have to do just one stitch. It could actually be two stitches. So let's do a half double crochet, and then let's chain two, one, two. So we chain two, so we're gonna skip one, two. And our next half double crochet is going to be here. I don't know if you can see this, but we skipped this one, we skipped this one, we're going here. So then we'll just do that stitch. So we want to repeat that one, two chain, half double crochet, skip this stitch, skip this stitch and go right here. So you can see now we're getting larger openings. I'm just gonna finish this up with two half double crochet stitches. Oops, I've got my yarn stuck on something somewhere. I'm not grabbing all my loot or all my layers. There we go. And that happens. So let's count our stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight there. So now we're gonna do our turning stitch. And what do we wanna do now? We can do a double crochet. So we'll do two turning stitches. Now a double crochet, you wrap the yarn you insert it into both loops of the stitch. You grab the yarn, pull it through the first two, and then pull it through the last two. You can do a whole row like that if you want. And this is a taller stitch. Um, sometimes it'll tell you to crochet in the opening. This would be considered the opening or if it wants you to crochet in the stitch, it's a little tight to do it, but you've got your two loops here and your bottom loop there, and actually wants you to pierce in there and crochet. Now, mine is too tight, so I'm gonna go on the opening. Most patterns would probably tell you to go on the opening. So we've got one, two, three, four. This is the next stitch, right? Five, oops, five. So six will go in the opening. Seven. Oops, got my yarn twisted again. Then we gotta grab that last one there that got really small on me. So now we have eight again. So this doesn't look pretty just because I haven't really followed any pattern, but it's giving you some ideas on things you can do. So let me go ahead and do one, two, three, turn. So you can see you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is my first stitch, I'm sorry, this is part of this stitch, so this will be my next stitch. But what I can do is do a single crochet. So now I've got a chain of four and skip that and go to the next. You can do another chain, skip that, and do a double crochet here. So these are even taller openings. Skip, go here. 
And I've got one more here at the end. I'm just gonna put it in the opening. So I hope that gives you some ideas on how you can kind of play around with just a few very basic shapes. Um, we talked about the single crochet, the half double crochet, the double crochet, back loop only, and stitching in the openings. Let me know what you guys think. If you like it, please like and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook. I'll put some links in the show notes. Thanks so much for joining me. Happy crocheting. Thank you.